Hi YouTube! Oh, stabilize this a little bit. Sorry that I've been gone for so long. I really, 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 really am sorry. Um, it's been busy. Let's see. Bunch of new changes. Oh, let me hang up this phone. I might get a phone call. Um, couple changes. One, yesterday was my last day of, um, you know, my whole cosmetology program. It was an accelerated program. I ended up having to switch to another school because it was supposed to be an eight month program at the first school. And when I got towards the eight months, they were telling me that I was going to have to stay another 11 and it was due to their fault because one, they don't have a plan for you to finish. They don't, they don't teach accelerated. They keep everybody in this at the same pace and some people pay more, some people pay less, but we all finish at the same time. Even though they tell me I was, it's a long story. I don't really want to get into it. I don't, I'm not really here to knock the school because I ended up switching to another school, taking private classes, and yeah, it just, it paid off. I'm done. <laughs> I don't have to go anymore. I'm finished. Tomorrow I go to pick up my title and my certificates, and then I wait for my certificate from the government. That doesn't come until February because I had just missed the cutoff um, for the people getting certified by the government in August. So I have to wait till February on that one, but I'll be here anyway. So um, after that, I guess I'm going to go to the United States, try and get licensed there, and then we'll see what happens from there. Oh, I also want to get some experience from a salon. Another thing that has changed is my hair. Uh, okay, in the camera it looks the same, but it's definitely not. It is crazy thin, and it still like has like it still moves and everything, you know. With my my infamous, and I still blow dry my hair exactly the same. I learned a couple new techniques, but for my hair, the way to get my hair like sleek and smooth and still have like life and what the hell is going on? These Bebe's kids. Who's throwing stuff at my window? <laughs> okay. So there's somebody right there watching my video. I mean, throwing stuff at my window. Um, so I just wanted to... Oh, I'm sorry. My armpits are itching like crazy. I don't know what that is. <laughs> um, actually... Uh, it's probably because the deodorant has alcohol in it and it dries out the skin underneath which causes itching plus hair there so that doesn't help but that really has nothing to do with the video and I'm already at three minutes so um, dang I just got thrown off what was I talking about oh my thinned out hair it looks the same in the camera I don't know why but it's not it's way thinner I have thin hair to begin with and when I put a relaxer in it, when my hair is wet, it looks like I have no hair. But of course, when it dries, you know, when you block, when you use a blow dryer to dry it, then of course you can see it looks like you have a lot more volume. But flat ironing, forget about it. Um, I have a flat iron now, and it's pretty much useless because I don't. Well, I mean, I got my hair this straight, just flat ironing. Oh, I need to cut my ends, but. I had a bad experience with the teacher at the other school, so um, at the time I thought it was good, but then once I really saw what she did and once I learned how to cut myself, I realized her error and I now I don't trust anybody to cut my hair because I know that everybody doesn't know how to. And I see every time, every time, what the hell is going on in this place? So, uh, that was one change. I relaxed my hair. I'm not, I don't have my BKT hair anymore. It's a lot stiffer. I figured out my hair was breaking like crazy. And I think one of the things that helped a lot was, um, even, you know, where I am, it's really, 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 really hot. So, of course, sun damage. 
Um, and then also, I noticed after I was here a couple months, uh, my hair started getting hard, like really, really hard and dry. And it was before I had relaxed it. And I don't know why I thought when I relaxed it, my hair was going to change because I was going to put the keratin over it and it was supposed to make it really soft. But I think I figured out to, I've been doing some research and lately I've been thinking maybe it's the water here that makes my hair hard and dry like that. Um, so I was doing a little bit of research and I saw that um, mineral deposits, mineral and, you know, basic mineral deposits, I, I'm just going to say that for short. Um, can cause your hair to feel dry and uh, I think I believe the relaxer that I had gotten was a no lie relaxer it's a relaxer it's a it's a brand here nice and soft I don't know if they have it you know anyway nice and soft the reason why it's called nice and soft is because it doesn't burn but in turn it's a relax it's a live a no lie relaxer and from what I understand no lies they have they seal your your cuticle Ah, so when you deep condition and stuff like that, it makes it more difficult for the deep conditioners and stuff to penetrate your hair. Um, so over time, it dries your hair out, causes it to be more brittle and stuff like that. So I want to start using the Lye Relaxer, but I'm not really sure where I should get one. So as I was doing the search, I was looking for Mazzani. So that's going to be my new thing now that I don't have anything to do right now. I don't have a job. so. Um, I think this next week I'm just going to be on a quest to find a Mazzani relaxer somewhere here. If they do have one, if not, I'm going to try and find something that's similar. But I'm not going to relax my hair until December or February because I relaxed it in May. And I'm pretty good. I don't know if you've seen my... Check out my videos on how I straighten my hair. You could see I had like a tighter texture right here. And then I had like the carrot the looser texture on the bottom oh my god this shit is killing me but i had a looser texture on the um on the ends and just to sum it up you know basically i'm good at working with two textures so um I'm gonna be stretching relaxers because I can manage. I just blow dry my hair once a week, you know, the same way I did it in Show Me How You Straighten. I wrap it up, it comes out, you know, comes out good. Like, now that my hair is relaxed, even to get it sleek, I don't need the flat iron, which is kind of good because the flat iron would probably take my hair out anyway. Um, my hair strands are really extremely, extremely thin, so I'm thinking about um, you know, just basically building a whole new regimen to take care of my relaxed hair. I relaxed in May, but I've been experiencing right now, it's July, almost August, I've been experiencing a lot of breakage because I kind of just gave up on my hair and kind of just been pulling it back. But today, something got in me and then I decided I was going to try and take better care of my hair and try and you know, I like the length that it's at right now, so I'm probably going to keep it this length, and it's just, a, I don't know, is this shoulder length hair? Because it touches my shoulder. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what length this is, but it's just right here, which is, you know, it's a decent amount of hair. I just want it to be thick and full, so... Right now, I'm going to let it grow maybe two more inches, and then I'm going to trim it back to this length, and then I'm going to let it grow two inches until I grow all this relaxer out, because I know the, the ends, they're like thin and dry. It's just not a good look. I want them to look nice. Let me get a shot from the back. I want to rewatch this and see what it looks like, because I don't know what it looks like in the back. But as you can see, it's it's... It pretty much flows the same as when I had my keratin, and I think that's because of the blow dry. But my phone is ringing, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it off here. Just a couple new updates. Thanks for all the new subscribers and the people. Hold on. Hello? Yeah. I'm recording a video. Call me, call me back in five minutes. Call me back in five minutes. 
Okay, bro. Um. <laughs> um. Thank you for all. I don't know if I said this in the beginning of the video because I had to record this a couple times. But thank you for all the subscribers that I've had that have stuck with me. Um. Up to this point, all the new subscribers. Um. It looks like I have the same amount of subscribers, but there have actually been a lot of new ones. It's just a lot of people have unsubscribed, which, you know, if it, I haven't been putting out content, so I can kind of understand why I subscribe to somebody who doesn't put anything out. But I'm going to try and get these videos out more regularly. Some of the videos that I promised, um, either I just don't have the desire to do, or... I tried to do them and they didn't work out. So when I get my lighting situation worked out, I can do more tutorial type things. But as far as um, when I build my regimen, whatever that's going to be, when I find something that works for my hair, because now it's not in the same state. When I was using Brazilian keratin, it was so much easier to care for my hair. I think I used um, the therm Tresemme. I used the, the one for straight hair. I used the Tresemme shampoo conditioner. Most of the time, I never deep condition. I because I had the keratin, and the keratin that I had was supposed to be a deep conditioner. So I never deep condition, and sometimes I would use a leave-in, and I used the the one that's in the orange bottle, um, the herbal essences. I don't remember what it's called, but the one that's in the orange bottle, it worked fine. And then I started experimenting with that. Oh, and of course my Lada body and my hairspray, but that's pretty much it. The hairspray, I used all kinds of hairspray. And the Lada body, you know, use it as needed. But um, I'm just rambling now. I'm already at 12 minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off. But I'm out. <laughs>